welcome to the Bunters Yard Choosy Tutorial. So today we are adding uh, grime in the grooves. So just around where these panel lines are on the... Um, sure these have got a word spars I don't know what they're called but anyway in there there'd normally be lots of dirt and grime so we're going to do a little build up of that and this video is just about adding that in it's quite a straightforward um, technique to do but it makes a big difference you could probably just do that and get away with a whole model just being that so we're going to use a couple of colors here um, I don't want it to be completely black so we're going to use a dark earth so it's just a dark brown and then we're going to mix some black into it. I want to be quite dark, but I didn't want it to be like a sort of mud colour because this would probably be in British gas, carry coal on coke, I suppose. So, a couple of drops of this Vallejo air straight into the airbrush. Vallejo air doesn't need mixing; it's already pre-mixed and pre-thinned. And then a little bit of black, not too much black, otherwise it will go completely black. The black's quite a strong pigment, obviously. But you can see that sort of sludgy brown. And then we'll use an airbrush for this particular one we've got a, a second example coming up in a little bit it doesn't doesn't use an airbrush so that's gonna please a few people I'm sure and then we're just gonna spray the color on it needs to be fairly heavy don't want to cover the whole thing don't want to saturate it you want to get quite a bit of color on so we just do one side at the moment you can do this side and then down the bottom down the bottom is gonna be possibly thicker as well on your on your model because there'll be lots of spray coming up from the track so once we've got our uh, coat on while it's still wet we need to uh, basically we're just going to rub it off if we use a, a cloth just wrap around your finger like that you can see it doesn't take all of the paint off it leaves a bit around the um, around the seams you know around the joins and it's going to create a bit of a streak as well because it's still wet um, and on its own that's just quite a nice effect this just adds a bit of sort of depth to the to the model um, and it looks like um, that the, the dirt has got sort of trapped around those um, around those those seams um, which is probably what would happen on a real life model anyway, on a real life wagon uh, and you compare it to the other side makes quite a bit of difference I think straight away you could just do the whole model like this and that would probably be uh, good enough you could probably leave that and get away with that if you didn't want to continue um, but the idea is is that um, because obviously wagons don't get don't get cleaned, I guess on the uh, on the on the real railways. Um, so the only cleaning it will get is when it rains, and uh, and the force of the air as it goes down the track, I guess would uh, would move the dirt around and force it into those crevices and those panel lines. Uh, we're going to add a bit inside as well. This one's not going to have a load um, when we put this up on uh, on the website. So I'm just going to uh, do the same sort of treatment on the inside as well. You could go a little bit heavier on the inside, use different colours. And we are going to now add a second coat. Uh, this is just um, it's slightly darker, this is almost just black. We're going to add that to the bottom and a little bit to the top. And then the same again with our cloth, a tissue. Just going to take some of it off. It just adds a second uh, sort of colour or tone because it's never going to be all just one colour on there. So our next example would be with uh, we're going to use a brush for this, and this is a, a mainline mineral wagon, and we're using the same uh, colour. Uh, but we're out the black, so we're just going to use the brown, the dark earth uh, Vallejo air on this one. So straight out of the bottle, that's more than enough in there. Uh, in there, just a few drops will do the whole model, so we really don't need a lot of paint. 
and we're just going to paint it on with a broad brush trying to get it into all the uh, corners and the nooks and crannies don't have to take too much time and do be too precise with this you know real life isn't ever going to be exact anyway and there's going to be bits that are missing and bits that are heavier than the rest so uh, we just need to get it on cover as much as we can you can see it's a lot wetter than it is with the airbrush so the airbrush will dry quicker so we've got a bit more time with the uh, by using it when it's applied with the brush but it's going to be wetter so we may need a couple of passes to get it off to make it look um, you know get the effect as we want so again we're using the uh, the blue tissue um, and that's it and because it's wet it's going to leave a few more runs and streaks which is fine which is just really what you're after so it looks uh, weathered so we've got our sort of grime in the around the edges around the panel lines and we've got a few streaks as well so uh, that works out not too bad and then around the edge and there's on the ends of these on the tipping end there's more of a um, there's a lot more detail in there so um, we'll try with the cloth and we'll see how we get on with that but we'll just get as much paint in again as we can And you can see with a cloth, we're probably not getting enough of the paint off as we need to. It looks a bit grubby, so we'll try with a brush. The problem with a brush is that it just tends to move it around rather than taking it off. So that may not be uh, the best option. You could use that as the last, uh, as your last sort of line of defense to create these uh, sort of runs. But a cotton butter find is much better on these end pieces. But you can do the whole modeling cotton bud if you've got that much time to spare now if that's the effect you're after you can just stop completely here and uh, and be done with it these are the two wagons we've added a few more layers on and uh, that shows the effect you can achieve so i hope you found this short tutorial useful and we'll see you next time